Hey guys, this week I'm at the beautiful Sky Lodge in Hartbeesburg Dam. Let's check it out. So one of the houses on the property is called Red Sky Lodge. So let me show you this one. So when you enter Red Sky Lodge, you can see you have these beautiful vaulted ceilings, beautiful fireplace. Huge dining table. Here you have the kitchen, beautiful farm style kitchen. And these places are self catering, so you can bring your own food. Now, downstairs it has two bedrooms, and this being one of the first. Beautiful bedroom, and this one goes out onto the wraparound patio with swimming pool and views of the mountain. And then through here, it has the bathroom. Beautiful hot tub and a shower. Upstairs, there is one, two, three, four bedrooms and a bunch of bathrooms. So let me show you the first bedroom upstairs. So Red Sky Lodge has its own private plunge pool with a beautiful deck, sun loungers. And what I do love about this unit is you can see over here in the distance, you have beautiful views of the dam or the lake, Hartbeespoor Dam. Beautiful views of the mountains. This is Blue Sky Lodge. This is the biggest house on the property. So let me go show you around. This is the living area. Lots of seating space with a TV and I love these high ceilings. Makes it feel very spacious. And here's a huge dining table. Like this would be the perfect place to be if you're a big group of friends and you all want to stay in the same house. Oh, there's a foosball. It's fun. Beautiful kitchen. Once again, this, they've used the stonework, which is beautifully done. Fully self-catering. Everything you might need in the kitchen. So you guys, this place is huge. I've counted 10 bedrooms. If I've missed any, I apologize. <laughs> but this place is so big, you can literally play hide and seek in this place. But I love these high ceilings, it's beautiful. You guys, this is the main Boma area, way at the top of the property. 
And as you can see, they have prepped for us tonight to have a nice braai here. We have sun lounges where you can lie and get some vitamin D during the day with this beautiful pool. And they have this area where you can chill out, eat. But just look at this pool and this view is incredible. And you can probably lie here and watch the sunset. about this place is you get an English village feel with all of the stonework. There is Red Sky Lodge that you saw earlier and then Blue Sky Lodge and then around the back of Blue Sky you have Sunset Lodge which is where I'm staying. And this is Sunset Lodge. This is where I'll be staying and you have these steps and then you get to the beautiful patio with the views and this place has also have this stonework that they use um, which is really beautiful and they have these huge sliding doors which are opened up and then What's really nice is when you sit inside, you have this view because of these huge sliding doors. But let's go inside. When you enter, there's a fireplace, beautiful dining table, and I love these vaulted ceilings. It makes it feel so spacious. Beautiful kitchen. It has everything you need for a stay. There you have two of the bedrooms out of four. This is the living space with the TV. There's another seating area over here. And then to the back is the other two rooms, which I'll show you now. This is the pool for Sunset Lodge and it's a beautiful pool with nice sun loungers. You guys, for Sunset Lodge, which is over there, they have a beautiful Burma area with a lot of space for all your guests and you can chill the fireplace while looking at this beautiful view and I wanted to show you why it's called Sunset Lodge but now the clouds are blocking the sunset so you guys Sarah is going to show me how to make is it s'mores or s'mores? S'mores. S'mores. A clear S. S'mores. So we don't do s'mores in South Africa like I think the Americans do, but let's see what she does. All right, everyone. So uh, we're going to start 
with the first step, which is putting the mellow on the stick. Now these aren't long, but this is what we got. Uh, there's pink and white ones here, but we only like the pink ones. Basically you stick it right at the top, just like so, boom. We're gonna prepare everything else right now. So when the mellow is hot, we just put it right on this chocolate and it starts to melt and we'll eat it with some graham, cra graham crackers. So we don't have the American graham crackers, but this will do. We got Mari biscuits. Mari biscuits, <laughs> these things, boom. So we're gonna get two, one for the top and one for the bottom. There you go, boom. We have Cadbury chocolate, eh, it will work. Hershey's usually the best when it comes to s'mores, so we're gonna break them into blocks. I'm not gonna touch the chocolate. Boom, here's one piece, and here's two. For me, and for Valdu. Let me get these two. Let's make one more marshmallow stick. Ready? You're like Nigella Lawson there, Sarah. <laughs> I prefer Rachel A. You should uh, also say Mikruave. Mikruave? Is that a person or a microwave? She says microwave. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's head over to the fire. You don't put it directly on the fire because then it'll just turn black on the flame. So you just kind of leave it on top. This might take a couple minutes, so this might we might need to do it in another video. But uh, you kind of just turn it, rotate, you know, like a rotisserie chicken. Um, yeah, awkward positioning that I'm in right now, but there you go. We'll follow us up in a little bit. All right, everyone. So I think this might be good. I'm going to leave it just like so, burn it a little bit. We're gonna make our way over to the beautiful setup that I've made here. I'm gonna start by putting the piece of chocolate on the graham cracker, just like so. Then, you put the marshmallow just like this. Now you don't wanna to touch it because it's very hot. So you grab the top of the marshmallow with this cracker, you see it? Look at that, ooh, and then you just pull out, pull out the stick. And this is a beautiful s'more but we're gonna wait a little a couple seconds because now the chocolate is melting a little bit and we're gonna take a bite i'm not gonna take a bite now because i'm gonna burn my mouth so let's just wait but here i think you can kind of see chocolate's not melting yet so give us a minute and then we'll eat it all right everyone let's hope it's good mm -hmm. the chocolate needs a little bit more to melt but pretty good and what do you think about the taste of the Mari biscuits? It tastes good. The marshmallow is what I currently taste right now, and it's amazing. How does it differ from your grand crackers that you have? I think the only difference is the chocolate, actually, to be honest. The Hershey chocolate would have been melted already, but because this is a little bit too thick, it's not melting as much. And with the s'more, you need the chocolate to be melted. Anyways, we'll try it again. Um, yeah, see you guys later. So now Valdu is roasting his marshmallow. So I got my training from a wise lady named Sara Mari. That's me. She once told me that you should not put the mellow in the fire because it will burn to a crisp. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this one got a little bit heat at the top, so yep. it's getting all kind of crispy. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to keep it up on top of the flames to get the heat. And we'll know that it's ready once it starts expanding a little bit more. So we'll be right back in about a minute. You put the chocolate first. You forgot the chocolate. Chocolate first? Yeah, chocolate on the bottom. Then the mellow. Push it down. And you pull out the stick. Yes. Look at that oozing marshmallow. Now just keep it on there for about a minute. And... Uh, Guys, we're only keeping it on for a minute just because the chocolate is pretty thick. Usually you could eat it within 30 seconds, but... Uh, see, it's nice and gooey. And a, and a little burnt. <laughs> yeah, the chocolate has not melted completely, but I thought let's just, let's just go for it. It's really good. Mm. Is the chocolate melted at least a little bit? No. <laughs> yeah, guys, see, we need the original Hershey's milk chocolate. So you can see here at Sky Lodge, we are making s'mores with marshmallows, mori biscuits, and chocolate.
Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and try to find me in the next one.